the royal news that's around. And, of course, Harry was there on stage. Uh, royal editor Ro uh, Russell... Uh, I was going to call you Royal Myers there, which we might just <laughs> rename you. <laughs> uh, Russell joins me now. Morning. Good um, morning. It's interesting, isn't it, to see Harry doing something like that alongside, you know, Hollywood's best. It, is this what their working future will look like? We'll see them popping up at sort of these sorts of commercial, sort of different sorts of events. I know this was a charity thing, but it's interesting, isn't it, to see them in this new guise? Well, it is, absolutely. And I think that, uh, you know, they're, they're, they've crossed the boundary or the border into the celebrity world now, haven't they? So they're sort of using their royal platform. And I think that as long as they're sort of not abusing it, I think that that will be absolutely fine. They've agreed to the Queen that they will respect the values of Her Majesty and the monarchy. But this is obviously for a fantastic uh, reason that they're doing it, using his platform to speak about the vaccine, thanking all the frontline workers as he was doing. And I know I've seen the comments about how self-assured he was. And I know that uh, uh, Ross said he was speaking from a teleprompter, but he had such stage presence. So is this sort of the Megan effect? Has she been sort of coaching him about his public speaking? It's definitely come on leaps and bounds, that's for sure. And um, she wasn't there, of course, because she is expecting a baby in the next few weeks. So um, I think it's a great, great uh, reason. And maybe we'll see them rubbing shoulders with the A-list uh, in their new Netflix documentaries. You never know. You never know. Um, elsewhere, Prince William here um, has done something I think that is quite interesting, really. And, and is it radical? Because he's taken a break from social media, but for a purpose. Yes, of course. I mean, this, uh, this is the social media boycott that he joined uh, over the whole weekend. It ends tonight, uh, just before midnight. Um, and the reason is because of the appalling racism that some of the football players are suffering at the moment. And William has taken a stand in his role as president of the FA. And he tweeted at the weekend that I'm standing with the entire football community on this, signing off the tweet W to make sure it was from him. And William's spoken out before about racism in football. He's using his platform for the FA. But he's saying, you know, enough is enough now. This is absolutely ludicrous that we're dealing with this. Um, I'm told he's speaking to, you know, the big wigs at the FA. They're devising a plan about how to stamp this out. The Kick It Out programme are also involved. So watch this space. I definitely think we're going to see William uh, speaking about this uh, on several occasions over the next few months. Um, what's obviously got some of the headlines in the newspapers is this news that um, there were two more intruders uh, found uh, in the Windsor sort of grounds and obviously then worries for the Queen's safety. What's going on? Well, this is quite concerning, actually, because, you know, if you remember just a, a few weeks ago, there was a woman who was caught wandering around the grounds of Prince Andrew's uh, Royal Lodge abode and she was intercepted by police after she'd been sort of waved into the grounds. But two more people have scaled the fence at Windsor Castle and they were thankfully, apprehended and uh, arrested at the scene. There's an investigation ongoing. But the reason that this is more concerning is because we're led to believe that Queen still mourning her husband at Windsor Castle. She's been there for over a year. Um, and will we see her return to Buckingham Palace? There's a bit of a grey area at the moment because Buckingham Palace is still undergoing a huge refit and the Queen does prefer to be at Windsor. But if there is a big security scare going on, then, uh, you know, I think heads are going to roll and we're going to see potentially it might be more difficult for the Queen to stay at Windsor. Um, so watch this space with this one. It's quite concerning, I think. Yes, it is. Um, let's talk about something happier, which is these lovely new pictures of Princess Charlotte. There's now sort of a, a, a tradition, isn't there, really, that Kate started by releasing lovely photos that she takes herself. Well, she has she's quite the accomplished amateur snapper, Kate, and you know she's sort of cornered the market that uh, there's not sort of this fever pitch of pictures uh, wanting of the kids because she actually takes them. And keeping in with tradition, she they released a picture of Princess Charlotte. There she is at six. She turned six on Sunday. But a lot of people are saying this is a bit of a mixture of a mum and dad. But if you look at a picture of the Queen when she was only seven, there is more than a striking resemblance. I think you'll oh, find. Yes. Look at the two of them. Uh, you know, certainly passed her smile down. And she's obviously changing so much. I think we saw the same with Prince Louis when he turned three the other day. Um, but, yeah, great, great snaps from Kate and uh, keeping in with the tradition and lovely, lovely pictures. Yeah, lovely. And we apparently told by Kate that she has a bit of a feisty personality as well, doesn't she? Which is a good thing, I think, for a royal woman. Why not? Um, yeah. Russell, thank you. Yeah. Thanks so much.
uh, for joining yes, us this morning. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.